Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings Redux, and I'm doing pretty good today, but unfortunately I have some bad news to start off with, some unfortunate technical difficulty talk that I have to get out of the way first. You'll see that there is no talisman requirement on this level, Rocky Road. That is because I have already done it and the next one. So here's what happened. Funny thing happened on the way to the YouTube upload. Um, I played these levels, this one and the next one, and I solved them both. It was very nice. It was well done. It was very fun. Uh, there was lovely organic puzzle solving. I got both of them without using a replay. And it was wonderful, and it was a beautiful Technicolor dream. And then I went to go edit, and come to find out that my mic did not pick up a single thing I said. So rather than try to recover what I was possibly thinking while going through those videos and post-commentating over recorded footage, the footage itself turned out fine. There's just none of my beautiful words over it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and replay these levels. So these are so there's going to be three talismans today. We're going to do uh, the couple that are here. And they're going to be short because I already know how to do them. And then we're going to do one that I have not done yet as a nice little reward there. So this is Rocky Road. This was a gold talisman. Uh, for the gold, you had to save all 30 lemmings. And it's kind of similar. It looks superficially kind of similar to the keep on trucking one but and it did and that did turn out to be the case this one is easiest if you work from the back a little bit let's get the music going first of all let's get a few little relaxing jazzy tunes going so when you go from back here you realize one two builders here with what you have to dig with you might get to thinking that you're going to be bashing through here and possibly also bashing through here maybe mining but also possibly bashing so when you get that worked out, you kind of realize you need to save as many digging tools as possible. And that's when it comes to your attention that you need to pretty much use builders to contain everybody here. No digger trap required, just builders. So we're going to let one lemming go here. He's going to be our go-ahead builder. And then we're going to get a guy building from about... We need to back him up a little bit. That's going to be right here should be good because we want him to fall on top of this little nubbin and, and keep going and then we're going to raise the release rate to 99 that way everybody else falls off while he's building that bridge and gets secured in here we're going to build at the very last point possible to make for the shortest bridge we can and so that went perfectly that was a very narrow call with some of those last ones. All right, where is the iguana trap? So we want to mine between the iguana trap. Let's see, where was it again? Probably right here would be pretty good. There we go. Yeah, we want to get between those. This is this was the hardest part for me to figure out right here, like exactly how to dig. Because this tree is very well and insidiously designed. It's kind of made so that it's kind of made in such a way that it's hard to get a clean break through it, but it requires some exactitude. So we're going to build. We want to build so that he doesn't turn around, but we want a very specific spot. I don't think it's right here. No, it's back a little, I believe. No, that's... No, here we go. This is the spot right here where it's hugging right up against the edge of the tree. So we're going to do that and we're going to mine through this because we want to save our bachelors for here and here. Once we have all this worked out, it becomes pretty easy from there on out. So yeah, he goes up there and you just mine through that. You want to leave a little space. You want him to get up as high as possible because he's going to do a surprising amount of walking back. Uh, it's going to look a little bit unsafe, actually. So we're going to bash through here. Yeah, this one was pretty easy for me to figure out. Uh, even though it was a gold talisman, it's very similar in a lot of ways to keep on trucking. Where you knew that it was going to be really specific, you just didn't know how it was going to go. So we want to get up here. He's going to hit and turn around, and then he's going to go a surprising amount back. This will actually not hold the walker back, which shocked me a lot. 
and it made me a little afraid, but he'll hit this nook right here and turn right back around, which is exactly what we want. So then we're going to start the long bash homeward. Get right up to the tree here, or the rock cliff that doesn't look anything like a tree, so I don't know why I said that. And then you just build to the end using two builders. You know you've got to use two builders to get over that pit, so that's what you do. And then you go back and build your other guys out of the... Let's see, where is the best way place to do this? That should be pretty good right there. As long as they can all get up over that one, they're fine. And we have one more to get to the exit, and that's the Rocky Road Talisman. Unfortunately, you don't get to see that I unlocked the Talisman. But, you know, sometimes recording oopsies happen. That's just the way it is. But... We pick up the pieces and we move on. It's all going to be... It's all going to be alright. The talisman is already earned, so I already felt my distinct sense of pride. And I'm a little bit sorry that y'all didn't get to see that. But, as they say, it is what it is. So, let's get these guys to the exit and move on to the next one. Which was the first talisman of the Manic setting. All right, now we're back in the Manic levels, starting with the Lemming Funhouse. This is one of just six talismans in the Manic rating, and this is the first one. Again, we have to save every Lemming to get the talisman, although this one was just a silver one, which, of course, means that Round the Wheels suddenly got Dum Dum Brain while trying to solve it, but I did get this one eventually without the replay, but it did take me longer to get than Rocky Road. So here is what we do with this. There are a few tricky elements to this one. First of all, we have first of all you have to know where to build. And you have to know how your builder math is going to work out. You know you're going to need a builder here, probably here, some to turn around right here. You know you're going to have to keep the rest of the lemmings at bay while another one works. So you kind of get doing the math. You're like, okay, one bridge here, one bridge here. A few bridges here to turn around and it gets a little daunting where I messed up at first is that I started off by putting a blocker down here you're not gonna see him hit the ledge here or anything but I put the blocker about roughly right here and I built right here to keep them all in and it required a little bit of tightening up which once I realized what I was doing wrong was easy to see now the first really tricky thing that you have to figure out is exactly where to build you have to build in such a way that he gets the fourth step out about roughly right. We want to leave a little bit of space between this bridge and the wall for reasons that you'll see shortly. But we want to make sure that the second lemming drops right onto this without turning around and going left. Then I think we're going to I think we're going to get him started building first probably. Got to build over the catch-up wheel so that nobody hits that. Now what we're going to do here is set a blocker down. Alright. Yeah, uh, roughly there should be fine. We want to keep the release rate at 50 right now, though. Uh, for reasons. So, okay, he's building. He's going to build until he hits his head on the wall here. We want to stretch these out because we want to seal this gap. All right. We're not going to seal that gap right now, but we need to be able to in case some lemmings turn to the right when the digger makes his way out. Oh, wait. I didn't... Wait a minute. I got to back up because I didn't quite get that blocker tight enough. We want that blocker up really tight against the wall. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a frame and... You kind of want him just touching that right there. Because you want a really tight blocker trap right there. Because you need to be able to free that blocker with a digger as well. So yeah, there we go. Getting that. No, not when you fall. Do it the normal way, you big goof. This is also really hard to see, actually. There we go. All right. And they're walking to the right, but we're gonna we got another kind of countdown timer using lemmings going. Kind of like we had in Across the Gap. So we're gonna go ahead and build over this. He's gonna turn around one more time. And we need this third bridge here to seal up the gap entirely. Because we're gonna have lemmings 
Lemmings can only be facing to the right. I can't really get anyone going to the left in this current situation. So I have to be sure that this seals up the wall. And I think that should just about do it. And we're going to wait for the very last lemming to come out before we free them. Just to give them the insurance. You can't be too safe. Better safe than sorry. So we'll build to the exit there. One and zero. Here we go. And as soon as he falls, we're going to have him dig. And he's going to help the blocker get out. There we go. And since he was facing to the right, everyone else goes out to the left. They're fine with that, but the digger is the one that we need to ensure is okay because it's only possible to have him going to the right. So he goes that way. And there we go. Beautiful. We just have to make sure that he doesn't fall through a small little hole in here and end up taking himself out. So that's the Lemming Funhouse. It was a silver one, but I did get it myself this time. And now some all new material. Thank you for patiently waiting. We're back at if at first you don't succeed. And for a silver talisman, we have to save 50 lemmings while at the same time only using one basher. Normally what you do is you use both your bashers and then end up mining at some point. So let's go ahead and scope this out real quick. We can only use one basher now. And in case, in case we tried any funny business, they do not want us going underground. And they actually set some water in this to prevent that even. I think that's a new addition. That may have been in the Amiga original. I can't quite remember. But I know they changed the amount of builders so that we need every single one this time. So one, two, it took like four stretchy bridges to get across this lake. And then two. So we're going to be using all our builders. So that makes me think another blocker turnaround is in order. And I'm formulating a theory. I think I might have this one. Let's go ahead and uh, play this one out by ear. I'm going to get two athletes going. I need athletes because they're going to be going this. I'm going to do this reverse of how... Normally, the way I would do this is I would bash through both of these, mine through down to here, and then hug this staircase with a blocker and blow them up. But we have to save everybody this time. But I think... You know, I think this... Okay, this is pretty well designed. I'm just going to go ahead and 99 everybody else. I think I can afford to do that. This is pretty well designed because by this point in the game, I'm starting to... This game has done a lot of stupid pet tricks with blockers. And now that I'm kind of in the rhythm of that, I'm seeing it a little more naturally. So let's go ahead and I think I'm seeing it. I think I want to make my blocker up here. I'm going to make a blocker at the very possible edge and I'm going to, he's going to be facing the right, which I want him to do. Cause I want him to go on after this guy turns around and digs him out and I'm going to be digging him out immediately. So a blocker as soon as I can drop. And then as soon as he turns around, we're going to dig him out and he's going to move right on. There he goes. Perfect. Okay. This is going exactly how I want to so far. Now, six bridges is a lot to build, but digging and mining also takes a crazy long time. So I think he should have time to do a lot of building. Actually, let's get down just a little, let's get down just as close to the water as we can. Let's wade in the sweet purifying waters of Lake Minnetonka. I think we're gonna have this okay so now when he gets to the right point okay who do i want to okay yeah he's gonna mine that's like a reverse tunnel for the walkers to come out pretty simple you can probably see how this is falling into place this might be the easiest silver talisman i've ever done wow okay all right so let's keep it going here all right Okay, so he's going to climb up another hill. He may even be able to get through one more bridge by the time his uh, 
his also green compatriot gets all the way. We're going to watch the mini map right here. Keep a close eye on him. I think he's going to get to the top first. I think he's already at the top, and he actually went a little too far for what I need. There we go. Now he can pay attention to Mr. Water Bridger over here again. All right. All right, he's done there. He should still be digging. Yeah, he's going to get out. He's going to get out of this just fine. It's going to be okay. Everybody is going to be safe and sound. We'll go ahead and pay attention to this one for the moment. Perfect. There he goes. And then we can bash this last one. And just to make sure... Hold on. He's about to be done. Gotta pay attention. Gotta pay attention. Gets up there just fine. Path to the exit is laid out. And now... Just one more thing. If I bash through here, is the climber gonna be fine when he walks back? Yes, he is. He will fall into this comfy little nook. But he's going to be nice and cozy. And there they go. I think we're going to score a talisman. And that right easily. That was a pretty good one. Wow. I Wow. Okay. That was a clever one. That, that one was pretty easy to figure out. I think I kind of have the hang of where they want me using blockers. You would, you would think I'd get the hang of it having reached manic by now there he goes he's gonna come out of this a-okay yeah this is really this is really clever really clever stuff i'm really i like this one a lot it's simple but it's just got a flavor that's like mwah, just a just a chef's kiss of a talisman i wouldn't quite call it as awesome as a beast of a level that was probably my favorite talisman of the entire pack so far but i'm duly impressed by this one as well this one was this one was pretty good an easy one you know some meals some meals don't take a lot of prep and they seem really easy to make but they pack a big wallop this was like this was like a meal that was easy to cook and was also very satisfying i enjoyed this one a lot and we're doing pretty well here in Manic, but I think we're going to stop here for today. So next time, I will remember to have my make sure that my mic levels are on point when I start the recording. And then uh, we will make sure something like what happened today never happens again. Again, sorry about the technical difficulties, but, uh, you know, it happened. And it's a whole thing, but... I have tried my best to do right by these levels. And yay, there we go. Now we get the uh now we get the message. We unlocked a talisman. We already had two talismans, but we freshly unlocked a third one. Mmm, -mm, smell that? That's new talisman smell, baby. <laughs>